coming in for a video today. I thought I would do an old-fashioned thrift haul. I haven't done one of these in a while. I know I've done a lot of live streams and uh, I've enjoyed those. I really enjoy the interaction. We're going to do a thrift haul. I always do kind of a mix of clothing and hard goods and everything and I do have a room full of stuff. A lot of clothes to put on Poshmark, a lot of hard goods to put on eBay, a lot and then I also have some hard goods for Amazon. And I haven't even showed you all of the stuff that I've got from Amazon. Some of it's been selling. I haven't done a book haul in a while, but if you do want to catch the next video, please be sure and subscribe. Please be sure and hit that the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button because that will notify you when I do go live and it will also notify you when I upload a new video like this. One. So let's get started, guys. I'm super excited. A lot of people know about selling mugs and uh, know that they can be lucrative so let me show you a few mugs I've picked up and don't scoff or laugh because I just sold a, uh, a set of Snoopy I'm allergic to mornings mugs those sold for about $25 and then I sold one individual um, who is it Charlie Brown mug and that one was a thrift store find for 50 cents but it was an original dollar store so you just never know what people will buy Right? Alright, so I love German Shepherds. I wish I could own one. I did own one when I was a child. This is the American Kennel Club with the Wyatt. So I still remember that I love my German Shepherd. His name is Prince. And I wish I could own another one. And maybe one day I will. But for now, I have him on a nice side. I've got this one. This is, is this Transformers? Yeah, I just thought this one might be a good one to put up for sale. Again, I get anywhere from 20. I don't really sell them for less than 20. I have clearance some out maybe at 15 but was selling for about 30. This is a anime character I believe and I did look the comps up on that. So cute. They uh, came out to a quarter a piece because it was 75% off. These are by Pausa P-A-U-S-A. -A -A so cute. I love them. I love the big handle. Again, they Okay, let me go to some clothing. The bears? Yeah, the bears. It is a woman's Nike jacket uh, down, 100% down, and it is in excellent condition. I got it for $7 because their jackets sell for $10, and that day I do get a um, teacher discount, so 30% off. Isn't that pretty? It's got the tapered waist. It's just in amazing condition. The hoodie, I think the sleeves, wow, the sleeves are actually detachable, so you can make it a vest. You make it a goose down vest. I hadn't even seen that. So I need to get that listed quick. Oh, it wasn't Nike. Sorry, guys. This is actually Reebok. It's got a little heart with a, um, the logo on it right here on like a little metal. Hope you guys can see that. This t-shirt, Katy Perry. This is actually her tour from 2011. I know someone is a fan out there that will want it, didn't buy it at the concert. The This was bought in Corpus. I was thrifting in Corpus a couple of weeks ago, and um, I just thought it would do well. It, they're $3.39 over there. The t-shirts are a lot more expensive. But then again, what they're doing here in our Goodwill is they are tagging some on the neck that sell for... Is it $1.99 or $2.99? I think it's $2.99. And those are considered just run-of-the-mill shirts. Now, this one does have the concert dates on. And then on the ones they think are a little bit more um, valuable, they put the, the tag right here on the shoulder, and they'll sell for 5 So in Corpus, they did a $3.39 on all T-shirts. So California, this is the California Dreams Tour. I just bought me a little tank for Larry. These were um, pretty much a dollar because they were 75% off. Then in San Antonio, I went thrifting. See how long it's been? You guys have seen my ride-alongs already, I believe. I got this fabulous Pyrex with the lid, and this this was five ninety nine. No discount on that day at all, but it was a really. I think it's a nice. It's the four quart bowl. It doesn't even look like it was used at all. And so Corpus as well. These are just t-shirts. I didn't get to hang them up. Uh, I need to launder them. Actually, I love this one. It's the real tree. I got this for me. I love the little flag motif there on the side of the barn. It just says real true. I just thought it was so pretty. I love anything with flag motif, so I got that for me. All right, then I got, I'll show you that in a minute. That's, that needs to be washed. It's like static clean. Oh, I love this one. This one says Houston, worth it. And it says in the back, all the reasons 
that you can hate Houston, but in the front it says it's worth it. So it says the heat, the humidity, the hurricanes, the flying cockroaches, the mosquitoes, the traffic, the construction, the sprawl, the refineries, the ridicule, the pollen, the air, the billboards, the flooding, the image, the property taxes, the short springs, the long summers, the potholes, the no mountains. And this is by www.houston is worth it. So I thought that was really cool because I love it. Like Houston. And uh, yeah, we do have all those problems. I got a Harley shirt from my husband from Corpus as well. I really liked it because it was red and you rarely see red or any other color. Sometimes we see, he's got a few orange, but mostly black. It says Corpus Christi, Harley Davidson. And it's got a little convoy of bikers back there. I love the font on it as well. And it's got the eagle. It's just all around nice. It is faded, but it is his size, and he doesn't care. This one says, Keep Texas Well. It's a triathlon, also from Corpus. I just like the saying on it. I love the Texas map. Got that one. Again, these were all $3.39 in Corpus. Kind of high, I know, but I really like them. This one says, Reckless Kelly. This is a brewing company in Austin. And in the back, it says, Beer is living proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. And that's a quote. Direct quote from Benjamin Franklin. I got my son a shiner it's a brand new hat too except somebody already bent it up but it has no wear on the inside um, it's from shiner beers here in texas and that was two dollars and 99 cents a polo ralph lauren it's got the little um scott scottish puppies the scotties two of them isn't that cute and this is also new i mean it doesn't when i do put up polo hats they do sell so we'll give that uh, a try. i don't know i was just going around this store in corpus and I saw this one, and, the, and I grabbed it, and the lady said, that one looks really old, doesn't it? The lady that worked at the Goodwill, and I said, yes, I think it is. So it's Virginia Slim's Tennis, total 70s. I used to smoke this brand, unfortunately. But they would never stay lit. I don't know why. I always wanted to smoke Virginia Slim's when I was, when I was a young person and smoked. And they would not stay lit because they were so skinny. I don't know if you guys remember them, but they were really skinny. But I remember this totally reminded me of the ads and everything that were in magazines that they soon banned and good to, to do that, you know, because cigarettes are bad. We know that. Anyway, this was also $3.39. It's kind of got that puffy feel to it as well. It's got a little embellishment, a little extra, what do you call it, a little colored cuff here on the on the sleeve. So that's nice. It'll look a little bit more feminine, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> I'm selling it. That's what it says, guys. Virginia Slims. I totally thought that would do well. We'll see. We'll see if anybody's nostalgic for the days of smoking Virginia Slims or Virginia Slims tennis. And that was kind of the beginning of the, uh, unfortunately, the, so there were sponsors like that. That really was the kind of the beginning of the woman's movement or the woman's liberation movement because they did sponsor things like that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they were one of the sponsors of the, uh, the uh, big tennis match between Billie Jean King and Bobby somebody. See, he, we forgot who he was because Billie Jean King is the only one that matters. She beat him. Bobby, oh my gosh, if you guys can remember who she, who she played tennis against in the Astrodome. It was a big deal. It was like the, you know, the Thrilla in Manila for, uh, for Muhammad Ali. This was a big sporting event in the 70s, and she beat him, and I think they were one of the sponsors. All right, so then this is a really cute one, too. This is by Staple. I've never heard of the brand, but it looked like quality quality to me. I like the um, the texture of it and all of that. It's got a little number here, too. And um, it's got a really nice picture there, kind of in applique, actually, of a pigeon. So I think it's some kind of sporting wear. I did look it up, and I did find that. And these were selling for about $20. So these were probably... A dollar twenty-five or something, pretty cheap scarf. It has um, it has ladybugs and roses. I think it's so pretty, and it's kind of a chiffon silk, super cute. I don't know. Oh, it's a Talbot scarf. These are new with tags, guys, and these cost me all of a dollar twenty-five. I cannot believe it. And these are a brand from Nordstrom's. I've seen they sell a lot of Nordstrom's there. It's called Car Carambia. Sharambia or Carambia, it could be Italian, so I'm not sure. But that's the brand there. It's 24 months. It's so pretty. It's got big buckles, like little leather. Um, yeah. So pretty with the little loop on it. 
You see that? Oh, I love it. I think it's a darling. And just, just the softest leopard print. It's even got pockets. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't wait to put this up on Posh. People love cats, people love Christmas, ugly Christmas sweaters, and now we've got it all combined. A cat Christmas. And it's kind of a stretchy sweatshirt, kind of a like a, a material that almost looks like a wetsuit or something. Feels like one of those wetsuits or both sides, two sides on the graphic here. Okay. Then I got this cute little polo, 67, kind of bright. Uh, hoping that the 90s kick is still kicking so that this will sell. If not, you know, we'll see. But I think it was about, um, again, about $2. Green tags. Again, they have to be either half off or 75%. Okay, here's an orange tag. I did get this one for 75% off. This one says Continental Club Houston. It's a big old Lincoln Continental there. I know someone's going to love that on eBay. People love their car shoes. These will fit me. They were also 75% off. So these were about $2. And these are, I think they're Talbots. No, they're Kenneth Cole. And they're full length. I like them because they're kind of an alternative to a cat stripe, kind of a pinstripe to them. Kind of tan and cream. It's the Love J label. It's also a Johnny Was label. I hope you can see that. Okay, and it's kind of a workout top. It's totally cut out in the back. It's got kind of a print of uh, destroyed denim, tattered denim, and then it just comes up the back right here. So this is definitely a little yoga top or something, a workout top, nylon stretch that off. And I think I got this for like a dollar twenty-five, half off, three fifty. Is what I paid for it. A brand, but it just reminded me very much of something kind of Kate Spade. So I liked it for myself, and um, so I picked that up for myself for about three fifty. Just feels really silky. It almost feels like it's lined, but it's not. It's got a nice rose pattern there, floral pattern. Laura Ashley, guys. This is a zero to three months. This one also cost me about a dollar twenty-five. Look at that wallpaper print still tagged this is from Nordstrom's or Dillard's still tagged $40 still has the security tags from the stores like Nordstrom's or Dillard's and $40 still has the other tag so I'm definitely putting this up on eBay and Poshmark and it has that beautiful classic wallpaper print that Laura Ashley made so famous and still you know she's just the leader in that I just love it isn't that precious? Oh my goodness. I love, love, love this. This is more like for a four-year-old. These are super cute. And this was 75%. So this cost me about, I think about a quarter or 50 cents. It's got a beautiful pattern of ducks and like little drummers and just all kinds of stuff. Dancers or ballerinas or something. Can you see all that pattern there? Hannah Anderson is a really popular brand for children and they make adult clothes too. But uh, yeah, trendy moms really, really like to buy these, especially on Posh and eBay. So look for that. I those Hudson jeans, guys, but they don't fit me. They're a little tight. A little tight on the waist. So I'm not going to save them because knowing me, I'm going to go eat instead. And these are a 28. They are absolutely beautiful, faded, light denim. They cuff up really nice. You can make a nice little cuff on them because they're, they're tapered leg there. Really, really nice. So I think these will go up on Posh. You want to have that up on your Posh or your eBay. Here it is there. And um, these are super cute. I really like them. Oh, I don't know. I almost want to hang on to them. I'm going to list them. And... Uh, if I ever get disciplined, I may fit into them again. 75% off too with a yellow tag. I also looked this up because I can just, you know, you get a kind of a feel for what labels look like, like the trendy labels and things. And this is Leith, L-E-I-T-H. It's a size medium. I love that little lace up front there. If it's not too clingy on me, I'm going to keep it. If not, I'm going to uh, list it on Posh and eBay. It's a gorgeous deep coral color. And the fabric feels so amazing. It almost this is a pretty long video already. Um, I still have some hard goods and more clothing and some fabulous finds that I found all week long, all month long. I've been in San Antonio.
Corpus. Of course, I've been thrifting here. I have been staying home for a while because I've been catching up on the listing. My Poshmark has really kicked up, really been selling well in there as well as eBay. So, uh, you know, in order to do that, you really have to keep listing every day, putting in fresh things, getting out with the old and, and, you know, doing away with those. Clear them out if you have to is what I do fresh to get bringing new things. People really want to go into your closet in Poshmark and see something fresh and new and see that. So I want to thank you so much for being here. I want to ask you again to please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button as soon as you walk in the door. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do it now before you leave. But also hit the notification button so you can know when I go live. I am going to be doing more live videos now that I'm home. And all of the listing and, of course, doing more and more videos uh, for you guys. So I really appreciate it that you give me that thumbs up and that you come back really soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye.